Opinion, Mirti Allah can be more considerate. Editor's Note, Fulani herdsmen have been in the news in Nigeria for quite some time now. However, they are there for many negative reasons which range from sacking of villages, destruction of farm produce, maiming, killings among other unspeakable atrocities in some Nigeria's farming communities. In this subtle piece, Professor Oyan Ironabiant from University of Isle Oran writes about the need for Taraba State Chapter of Mirtiala Cattle Breeders Association of Nigeria to reflect on the rationality of their actions in aggressively protesting against the grazing bill introduced by the state governor to the House of Assembly. At the same time, the professor urged them to come to terms with the fact that times have changed and the subsisting nomadic ways of cattle rearing are over. This piece is addressed basically to the Taraba State Chapter of Mutiala Cattle Breeders Association of Nigeria, simply, Mutiala. I would start by appreciating the governor of Taraba State, Daraya Sishaku who has considered it necessary to put an end to the terrorism of Fulani herdsmen that is responsible for killing and sacking of crop farming communities in different parts of Nigeria. Many common people expected governors across Nigeria to emulate Governor Adel Feos, Ikiti State, who decided to protect crop farmers against the Fulani who value their own cattle more than human lives. Understandably, the animals are their own means of livelihood. But, are the crops not the farmers' means of livelihood together with their families and other financial obligations? At the same time, the professor urged them to come to terms with the fact that times have changed and the subsisting nomadic ways of cattle rearing are over. Governor Rishaku had sent open grazing prohibition and ranchers establishment bill 2017 to the state's House of Assembly. The governor did not mention Fulani, but Mirti Ali is said to have described the bill as a move targeted to subdue the Fulani tribe and also to undermine and restrict activities of the Fulani tribe in the state, and so the association was protesting up in arms with weapons. Thus, those who say Fulani are not the herdsmen responsible for terrorism against farming communities should re-examine their own consciences. Historical books testify to the fact that peoples who spread the only religions that came from God create daunting problems for humanity in the name of God, crusade and jihad wars, and other societal upheavals. How can roaming of animals be compatible with crop farming in the same fields? That is the most basic question for Mutiala. Cattle owners should learn to tend their animals by creating personal ranches in accordance with the size of individuals' own animal holding. Time is long overdue for the archaic mode of tending animals by roaming them in agrarian fields. Nigerians can only appreciate the leadership of Mirtiala for understanding if it can help persuade its members to adopt a live and let live approach to animal rearing that will not be done by sacrificing crops and farmers to animals. Crop farming and animal roaming are not compatible in the same fields. The temptation to force themselves on women and steel is also too high for some herdsmen flexing muscles with government and threatening war over a law that aims at ending carnage is not reasonable or godly. It is not reasonable to ask government to provide ranches when government is not the owner of the animals. When reason and consideration for fellow human beings take the place of sentiments and might is right, Nigeria will be a better place for all. The superb quality of my father, Oi and Lola Alabiabiages palm wine endeared him to the Fulani in our village. And the Fulani didn't lead their cattle to consume people's crops. That was in the past. 
how times have changed, and Mirthi Ala must reckon with change. The views expressed in this article are the author's own and do not necessarily represent the editorial policy of Nage. Com. Your own opinion articles are welcome at info at corp. Nage. Com drop an email telling us what you want to write about and why. <laughs>